Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today is part two of my Build to Ship to video series, where I'm going to teach you how to copy the Build to address to the Ship to address. All right, this is part two. If you haven't watched part one yet, you know what to do. Go watch part one, then come on back. All right, yesterday we got everything set up. We got our field uh, fields added to the table. We got the fields added to the form. Now we just got to make our little button. We're going to start off by making the button with a macro. Because I know a lot of you are scared of programming, which you shouldn't be. You're going to see after this how it's easier, I think it's easier, to do in um, to do in VBA than it is to write the macro. But that's just my opinion. And one thing that I was thinking of uh, in the last video, uh, before after I finished it, of course, uh, could you use a tab interface to do this? Yeah, you could. Personally, I like to see these on the screen at the same time. A tab is where... A tab control is where you can click build to and then ship to and switch between them. They're okay. I just, I, I don't know. I got a bad taste in my mouth for the tab control because when they first came out years ago, they did they were glitchy. They didn't work well. So I, I didn't use them. I don't like them, but that's just me. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's these little guys, right? Contact info, address, more info, that kind of stuff. It, it's okay for stuff you don't need to see all the time, but eh, I'm not a big fan. Anyhow, let's make a macro. Now, since I am a VBA developer, I have a certain setting that I've changed in Access that I have to go and change back now so I can actually make macros. In fact, one of the things I teach in my VBA lessons is how to turn this setting on. So I have to go into File and then Options. If you're a, if you're a VBA person that has done this, you'll remember this. Go to Object Designers, and then I have to turn off Always Use Event Procedures. If you have that box checked on, that means that you won't get the option to make a macro you'll get that little builder box button. You'll see what I'm talking about. It'll always just throw you into the VBA editor, which is what I want. But to teach you macros, I have to turn that back off. Okay, so now I can go right click design view. I can go to my form design, grab a button, drop the button anywhere down here. All right, the wizard comes up. We're gonna cancel the wizard. We're gonna change the caption here to copy bill. All right, we'll just go copy to ship to like that. That sounds good. Copy to ship to. And we'll put it between these two in a minute. All right, let's open the buttons properties up and we're going to change the name of the button. Always name your buttons, right? We'll call it uh, copy to ship to BTN for button. Give it a good name. Okay, now go to the events tab, find on click and click the dot 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 button. This is the builder that I turn off normally because I don't want to use the macro builder or the expression builder, or I always want to go into the code builder. But today we're going to use the macro builder. So pick macro builder and hit OK. And that brings up this guy. This is the macro builder. And a macro builder is pretty much the same thing as, as VBA code. It's just it gives you a list of options you can pick from. And these are pretty much the same as the VBA commands you can use. It's just kind of packaged in a, a nice, pretty interface. Now, what we want to do is, let me close this for a minute. What we want to do is we want to take this address and copy it to this ship to address field. That's all we want to do. Then do the same thing with city and then state and then zip. We're going to take a value and we're going to copy its value down here. All right. We're going to use a macro command called set value. We're going to set the value of one field equal to the value of another field. All right, all right, let's go back in the macro builder, right click this and go to build event, macro builder. That's the same thing as clicking on that dot, dot, dot button. Okay, so we want the set value command. So come in here and scroll down the list and let's see here. Um, yeah, the list is really long. Let me move this so you can see the whole thing. Okay, I had to slide it down because the list is gigantic, but it's actually not that gigantic because what we want is an on here. Set value is an on here, why? For some reason, Microsoft deems that it's not a safe command. I don't see how set value can be an unsafe command. But in order to see it, you got to turn this show all actions on. All right. This will only work in databases that have been marked trusted. In other words, the user has to be running them out of a trusted location. I got a whole separate video on that. You will run into this with any database that has VBA code in it or macros that use unsafe commands. So go watch this if you want to learn more about it. You basically, if you're going to distribute this database, your user has to create a trusted location. That's a pain, but it's for safety. 
But the real issue is I don't understand why Microsoft made set value an unsafe command. So turn show all actions on, click on that. Now when you open up this box, you'll find set value in here. Where is it? There it is right there, set value. Okay, what is the item that we're setting? We're gonna set the ship to address. There it is right there, you can click on it. Or double click on it. And then we're gonna set that equal to address. And then double click on that. And that's it. That's all you gotta do for that field. All right, next one, same thing, set value. And then just do them all, ship to city to, let me double click on it. And then we're gonna set it equal to city. There you go, and double click on it. All right, set value. Same thing here, ship to state, set it equal to state. Okay, and we just do all five of them. So one more, set value, where are you? We got ship to zip, and set that equal to zip. Last one, ship to country. Oh, set value, duh, set value. See, one of the reasons I prefer VBA code is because you can copy and paste this and it's easier to see how in front of you. It's just, this is just clunky, I think. Ship to country and then country. Not county, country. <laughs> okay, so there's our five fields. That's all we're gonna do with this macro. We're gonna save it, close it. We're gonna close this, close it, save changes, yes. All right, now we're ready, click this. Click the copy to ship to, boom, and there you go. That will copy all these fields down to here. Go to somebody else, click the button, and there you go. And if you wanna make changes, you can. We're actually literally copying the values from these fields into these fields. So you can make changes once you've done that. Now, that will work just fine. If you wanna stick with the macro, stick with the macro, but if you wanna see how easy it is to do that with VBA, Come back for tomorrow's video. So you know the drill. Tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. We'll do the same thing with, uh, with VBA this time, though. And you'll see how, how simple and easy it is. Uh, and of course, if you're a member, you can watch it right now. And we're also going to make a packing slip because we have the invoice, right? Because the whole point of this is we go into orders, right? When we generate our invoice for this customer, the invoice has the billing address on it. Well... We might want to put a packing slip in so we know where to ship this thing to, right? So we'll make a packing slip also that'll get this address instead. If you want to learn more about macros and event programming, I have six advanced lessons. These are more than expert, right? They're more than just basic functions and stuff, but they're not quite to developer level. So if you want to learn how to do some simple automations, if then statements, you know, that kind of stuff, these six lessons cover all of that. Okay, and in fact, I go over this exact example in a little more detail too and we do things like moving items between list boxes uh macro error handling all kinds of stuff all right so check these out these are my advanced classes i'll put a link down below and that will be covered tomorrow in part three so there's your tech help video for today hope you learned something live long and prosper my friends i'll see you tomorrow for part three a special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find.
But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page 
that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.